Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Reading Test for fourth graders. Our concept is author's purpose. Let's dive in. Remember fourth graders, believe you can and you will. We have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. The link will be in the description box for parents to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Let's talk about author's purpose. There are many ways that authors can communicate in the passage or text that they write. It can be to persuade. This is where the author writes to, to persuade you to do something or believe what they are saying. An example is Skittles are the most delicious candies in the world. Or it can be to inform. This is where the author is giving the reader facts or information about a given topic. An example is M&Ms have chocolate on the inside and a candy shell on the outside. That is informative. Next, we have number three, to entertain. The author is telling a fictional story that the reader will enjoy. Our example is, once there was a boy who found a magic frog that granted him all the wishes he wanted. Don't we wish that was true? <laughs> Next, number four, we have describe. The author uses descriptive and sensory words to detail a topic. Our example is, it seemed like a gooey, gooey cheese would stretch a mile long. Next, we have explain. The author provides directions on how to do something or tells the steps to a process. In our example, we have go down two streets and turn right to go to her house. Let's look at an example and as we read the passage, think about what the author's purpose is. This is Night Flyers. Under the cover of darkness, Millions of small furry bats take flight and fill the night skies of Texas. There are 47 different species of bats in the United States and 31 species live in Texas. Oh wow. The most common bat found throughout the state is the Mexican free-tail bat. Every year, 20 million Mexican free-tail bats return to Bracken Cave near San Antonio, where they give birth and raise their young. Bracken Cave is home to the largest bat colony in the world. Wow. Bat Benefits While bats seem mysterious or even scary to some, these night flyers are actually helpful creatures. Bats eat insects that can be harmful to plants, animals, and even people. A solitary bat can eat 1,000 mosquito-sized insects in just one hour. Bats also spread pollen among flowering plants. This allows plants to make seeds and seeds make more plants. In addition, bats produce droppings that make excellent fertilizer. The fertilizer mixes with the soil and it makes it richer, which helps plants grow. More plants means more food for people and animals. As humans develop land and build new houses and businesses, bat habitats like trees and caves often are destroyed. Without homes, bats do not have a place to rest or to raise their young. Humans can help bats with this problem by providing bat houses. Today, there are many people who build homes for bats. And here is an, is an example of a large bat house and a small bat house. Because bats sleep upside down, bat houses need to have something the bats can grab onto while they sleep. 
The houses must be painted black on the inside so that they are dark inside. This allows the bats to sleep comfortably during the day. Bat houses, bat houses should also have access to water and plants so that bats have something to eat and drink. The houses should be located in high places so that they are off the ground where predator, predators can't reach them. Giving a bat a home is a great way to help these useful creatures. So let's look at our comprehension question. The author includes paragraph two in the selection, most likely to F, describe some things that bats do, G, share ideas people have about bats, H, explain why bats eat so many insects, or J, persuade people to visit bat caves. So let's look at paragraph two because this will help us answer our question. Paragraph two says, while bats seem mysterious or even scary to some, these night flyers are actually helpful creatures. Bats eat insects that can be harmful to plants, animals, and even people. A solitary bat can eat 1,000 mosquito-sized insects in just one hour. Bats are also, bats also spread pollen among flowering plants. This allows plants to make seeds and seeds make more plants. In addition, bats produce droppings that make excellent fertilizer. The fertilizer mixes with soil and makes it richer, which helps plants grow. More plants mean more food for people and animals. So, Again, based on paragraph two, the author includes this selection to, what do you think? Is it F, describe some good things that bats do? G, share ideas people have about bats? H, explain why bats eat so many insects? Or J, persuade people to visit bat caves? Well, based on the information of paragraph two, the correct answer is F, describe some good things that bats do. And let's look at our selection again, because it talks about um, in paragraph two, how they are helpful, how they eat insects that are harmful to plants, animals, and people. Also how they pollinate flower and also how their droppings help. And I know you're like, what Miss Jackson? But the droppings help to fertilize um, the soil and it makes it richer for plants to grow. So that is why F is the correct answer. And that is it fourth graders for our example in introducing author's purpose. Remember to follow along with us in our math and reading questions for fourth grade. The links for our workbooks will be in the description box. And if you need a tutor, we have a link where parents can sign up for a free consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.